A wheel of Parmesan cheese can cost over a thousand dollars. The average wheel weighs 88 pounds, which means it costs over 11 dollars per pound. That might not sound like a lot, but it's more than double the price of your average cheddar. A wheel of Parmesan cheese takes at least one year to age, 131 gallons of milk to make, and it can only be made in a small area in northern Italy. Parmesan cheese is a big business for Italy. An average of 3.6 million wheels are produced each year, and the industry is worth an eye-popping 2.2 billion euros, that's about 2.5 billion US dollars, making this cheese one of Italy's biggest exports. Every single cheese wheel is made in a restricted area in northern Italy, in the region of Emilia-Romagna. Its Italian name, in fact, Parmigiano-Reggiano, means from the cities of Parma and Reggio Emilia. So how does this turn into this? And what makes it so special? We went to a dairy in Parma, Italy, to find out. The very first producers of Parmesan cheese were monks over a thousand years ago. Then, like now, Parmesan wheels were made with only three ingredients cow milk, salt and rennet. There are only 329 dairies in the whole world that are certified to produce Parmesan cheese and they are all based in the same area where the monks used to make it. In fact, it isn't even possible to make the exact same product outside of the production area. And why is that? Turns out it's all about three good bacteria that only grow in this specific territory. Tutta la logica nella filiera di produzione del parmigiano reggiano è trasferire questi batteri dall'erba alla forma di conservazione dell'erba al fieno, dal fieno alla mangiatoia, dalla mangiatoia attraverso le tecniche di allevamento degli animali al latte e una volta che sono nel latte, nel caseificio, si cerca di farli crescere per permettere la loro presenza dentro la forma del parmigiano reggiano. Se loro ci sono, fermentano le componenti del latte negli aromi, profumi e sapori tipici del parmigiano. It takes 131 gallons of milk to make one wheel of Parmesan cheese. That's whole lot of milk. Dairies combine freshly milked whole milk with day-old skim milk to make the cheese. The two milks are transferred in these copper vats along with fermented whey, a sort of sourdough, and then rennet, an enzyme which gives the milk a yogurt-like texture. The cheese master will then split the milk into curds using this tool called spino. Il casaro deve trasformare questa consistenza in una consistenza più gommosa perché dobbiamo togliere acqua visto che dobbiamo fare un formaggio a lunga stagionatura e inizia quindi la fase della cottura e in 5 minuti si passa dalla temperatura di 38 gradi centigradi a 55 gradi centigradi. Together with changing the cheese texture, cooking the milk does another essential job. Do you remember the three good bacteria? Well, they're not alone. Other bacteria, bad bacteria, might have joined the party. Cooking the milk ensures that only the good bacteria can continue the journey, while the others are kicked out. When cooked, the curd travels all the way to the bottom of the vat, where it's left to settle. 45 minutes later, here it is, a compact mass of curd, 
weighing 220 pounds. This mass is the equivalent of two cheese wheels and is split carefully by workers with linen clothes. Each half is then transferred into molds. questo telo viene cambiato e l'operazione è si toglie il peso sopra questa massa, si cambia il telo, si gira la forma, questo ogni due ore fino alla sera alle ore 20. At 8 pm the cheese is covered with this stencil which will engrave the logo Parmigiano Reggiano. These dots are the mark of origin used to tell customers that this is the real thing made in the same restricted area where monks used to live in the Middle Ages. Each wheel is also given an ID. It's this plaque made from milk protein, which contains information about where it was produced and when. The stencil is removed four days later and the wheels are praised into brines, where they stay completely plunged for about 19 days. This process helps to form the cheese rind, which acts as a barrier for the cheese. And this is when the maturation process begins. Wheels remain relatively untouched for one year. After that, a master grader will inspect them and brand them. The average maturation is two years, but some wheels are aged as long as 10 years to achieve a stronger, nuttier taste. A longer maturation period makes the price go higher. That's why a Stravecchio, very old Parmesan, that has matured for three years will be sold on the market for an average of 13 euros, that's about 15 US dollars per pound. This high price means that there is now a black market of counterfeit Parmesan products. Italy has been struggling with fake products for years. In fact, the problem is so big that the fakes have become an industry of their own that is estimated to be worth 100 billion euros, that's about 113 billion US dollars with Parmigiano Reggiano being one of the biggest brands fighting copycats. While the cheese is protected in the European Union under the protected designation of origin scheme, it is still struggling to get the recognition it deserves in the rest of the world. Da fuori Unione Europea e fuori quei paesi che non fanno parte di accordi bilaterali dove quindi viene riconosciuta la normativa europea il problema è veramente molto grande, il problema è veramente molto serio. Infatti al di là di poter proteggere il termine parmigiano reggiano attraverso un'operazione di deposito del marchio, in tanti paesi, in quasi tutti i paesi del mondo il termine parmigiano reggiano è un trademark, però è possibile utilizzare in tanti paesi del mondo il termine parmesan, quindi mettendo in confusione il consumatore finale che pensa di acquistare il vero parmigiano reggiano acquistando un parmesan. Lì il problema è veramente molto grande e si sta lavorando a livello governativo. So, how do you recognize a real parmesan cheese? Do you remember the stotter stencil? That's a solid indication that the cheese is legit. If that's not visible, the packaging should contain parmigiano reggiano's official logo and they use protected designation of origin.